I've been detailing cars for over 30 years, and the one thing that I have learned about myself and about detailing is uh, most of the detailers out there, whether we're diagnosed or not, have some form of OCD. Most of us, if something is out of place or something just isn't right, it drives us nuts until we fix it. The one thing I notice is uh, that gets missed by a lot of detailers that that aren't focused is uh, the selectors, the brake gas pedal, the console, the shifter, and most of these things are in the driver's area. So the one huge piece of advice I've given out to everybody that I've taught is when you're done the vehicle, sit in the driver's seat and check every nook and cranny from that driver's seat. Look in all the windows. Look in the visor mirror. Look at the visor. Look at the headliner. Look at all the trim. Look at the vents. Look at the radio. Look everywhere that the driver's going to look. Look out all the windows. Look out the side mirrors. Look at every area that the driver is going to see. And then when you're done that, step outside the car, open the door, crouch down, and have a good hard look. If that driver's section is not immaculate, then you've totally lost the customer and you've wasted your all your time detailing that car because that's all they're going to see. So you need to make sure that that area, if you're doing interiors, that area has to be spotless. 50% of the time I spend detailing a car is spent in the driver's section when I'm doing an interior. The rest of it is along for the ride, normally. Unless you've got children in the back seat or, you know, a dog in the back seat or whatever, but normally that driver's section has to be the cleanest of the car and I've given that advice out to a lot of people that have been very successful and that's one piece of advice that I strongly recommend you take is when you're done the vehicle check that driver's section and make sure it's immaculate because that's going to either sell your detail or you're going to lose the customer because that that is the most important thing as far as I'm concerned when you do an interior that has to be right everything else is along for the ride with that being said make sure do check your hatch Make sure you do check the trunk. Make sure you check the other areas that need to be checked over. Make sure you're doing all the the cup holders and everything else. But at the end of the day, make absolutely sure that that driver's area is completely clean and you've checked everything beside between the seat and the console. Make sure that you look down everywhere that the driver can see from that seat. Make sure you look all the way around because that's what you want to do is make sure that that customer's happy and that they're referring other customers to you. Okay? I really hope this helps because this has helped a lot of people that I've taught, I can tell the difference between a a good and a bad detail just by the way the driver's section is detailed and the customers can tell that too. So just keep that in mind. Okay, thank you very much for listening and I'll talk to you again.